So what would happen if science tested that faith? So that's good. We're going to set... Dr. Harry Witchell of the Brighton and Sussex Medical School has devised a unique experiment. To find out if hearing the pipes could inspire soldiers to even greater feats of bravery and strength. Today's experiment, we're going to be looking at the effects of different kinds of sounds on your ability to perform under various circumstances. So it's going to be slight fatigue on your strength. We're going to play you different kinds of sounds or music, as the case may be. You'll be listening to something for about five minutes on the treadmill. And then at the end of the treadmill, we're going to ask you to test your strength on this object here. This is a hand dynamometer, and it measures actual physical strength. Twelve Scottish volunteers from the Glasgow and Strathclyde University Officer Training Corps would each carry out the same test three times, with three different soundtracks played in random order. Bagpipe music. Modern music chosen to be at the same pitch and depth as the pipes. And, as a control, sound of silence. Essentially, we're looking at if when pipers were in the battlefield and there were all these men who were exhausted, what was it about the pipes music that could drive them on? Could pipes music drive them on? And we'll see if this kind of motivation can make an, a genuine objective difference to how much strength they can manage after being partially exhausted. 66.1, okay? Clinical trials have suggested that music can produce a marked physiological effect. Probably the most famous of those concerns the effect of music on patients who have uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders. If you give them music, they report lower levels of distress and pain, but they also show higher levels of work output. That's very good. But here what we're looking for is a much more territorial effect. That is, will music, just because it's Scottish music and motivational music, have an effect? That's 34.2. Yep, bigger. The next day, and Dr. Witchell has analyzed the results of his experiment. What we found was that the bagpipe music caused grip strength to be stronger than the alternative music, and that was statistically significant. Overall, Dr. Witchell's study showed that the effect of the bagpipe music was inconsistent, but it was certainly noticeable. It supports the idea that if these young people felt a sense of identity, felt a sense of social territory, toward bagpipe music. It made them feel like Scots. It fits with the idea that this gave them extra strength so that after this fatiguing exercise, that they found greater strength to do physical performance in a situation where they wouldn't necessarily have other found that strength. It gave them psychological reserve and resolve. But in terms of the structural components of bagpipe music, You've got two things going on. One is this high-pitched sound, the, the melody that gets you up, and if you identified with it, it would be strengthening rather than frightening. And the other thing is this drone, and the drone of the bagpipes is driving. It d allows people to keep finding the strength to move forward. This drone is one of the most important things about what makes bagpipe music unmistakable, and uh, you can imagine it being strengthening for the fighters in a war and terrifying for those who they're fighting against. 